One of the things I love the most about using studio uh, light for maternity images is how creative you can be, how much control you've got over your light. So you can get some really dramatic effects and I'm going to show you one of my favorite setups. Um, I have a softbox here in one corner. Um, you'll see it's got a white piece of fabric over it. That's just how I've always uh, had my softbox because I find it filters the light um, and just makes it much softer which is great when I photograph newborns so I just always leave it on there. Um, and one of the things that I've learned which made a huge difference to my maternity work once I got this was that the light doesn't always have to be sort of in front or coming from the side in on the subject. It can come from, from behind for maternity images and that's when you get that really dramatic feel. Um, and I just remember when I learned this and everything sort of just clicked into place from there. So I've got my main light in the corner down here which is coming at a 45 degree angle um, from behind the subject. And then I have another light as well, which is in the other corner, which has got just a strip box on it. Sometimes I use it and sometimes I don't. If I have a larger lady, I don't use it because it'll kind of um, have the light coming here. And with a larger lady, I prefer for um, this part to just sort of disappear into the shadows. But it can be a really cool effect and it really does help with hair as well. And it just kind of gives an outline on this side. So I really like to play with, bo with both. Um, for this main light here, um, you're going to want to have the lady turning um, this way here. So the light is sort of hitting her from behind. She'll have, sorry, the leg closest to the camera, which is up here. And then she'll place her hands on her belly. And then you've just got to sort of keep an eye out for where she places her head. So you don't want her to be looking at the camera or have her head too much over here because there is no light hitting that face at all. So you want to try and make sure that there is some light coming here. It can be quite beautiful the way it um, hits the hair if there's curls uh, and you know you just want to make sure that it, it hits the, the lady beautifully and then watch how it's hitting her, her curves as well. So for cleavage it can be really really beautiful. You just want to avoid her being too side on so there's just the one boob. You want to make sure that there's some light and shadows in between here because then that can really show off those curves beautifully. And sometimes you want to sort of tell them to kind of push their bum back and boobs out a bit. It can feel a little bit stiff but it's just much better than if they're standing like this because this is all about showing those curves. So it's very important that this leg here comes up so you get that curve here and out and here. Um, so if you start to play with this you'll get some really cool dramatic effects where you can literally just see the outline of the belly um, and um, if you're wanting more light you can move it so it comes from the side. If you do want her looking at the camera you can have it coming more from over here.